Hi everyone, so today I'm doing this uh, review on Lena, Lena Stamping Plate and it's Your Damask 02. Um, and so it comes in this, you know, nice little jacket and then you just pull it out and there's plastic on it. So you want to pull, pull that off too. So pull it off like that. Um, and then there's the plate. So lots of pretty fancy um, images on here. And there's actually 30 images on this plate. That's a lot of images. So lots for your money. Uh, some really pretty ones on here. And um, you know when I first started to sample these, I was like, eh, I don't know, they might be a little too much for me. but. They actually, by the time I got done with it, I really appreciate them. I really like them. There's some really pretty ones in here. You could do a pretty fancy Manny um, or quite a few. So anyway, we're going to go ahead. Oh, by the way, this is etched, like super etched. So it's going to, so hold on to your cotton when you clean it. Um, but it picks up nice, um, you know, images. So I'm using my Big Bling, my new one today. Clear Jelly Stamper, my fave. So we'll take these off. Um, and then also I'm going to use Maniology Stamping Polishes. And I'll put all the names of everything, all the products I use in the information box. So I think first, so we're going to do a sample. And I've got it already prepared. Um, this I used um, Easy Flow True Gel Polish, um, and it's called Marshmallow. And um, I really like it. Um, it's a white, but it's a teeny bit softer. It's I mean, it's plenty white, but it's a teeny softer than some of them. But the part I like the most is that it goes on really good. So it's not like super streaky like some of them are. So I think it goes on really really nice for a white. Um, so anyway, I went ahead and put matte on here too, so hopefully that will keep the shine down so it'll be easier to see. Um, and so we're going to start out with, um, let's see. Okay, so first we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and sample out, let me see from my direction. There we go. This one right here, um, that image right there, I really like that image a lot. Really pretty. So we're going to do that one first. So I'm going to turn it my direction, and um, okay. So I'm trying to think, which way do I want to do that? So actually, maybe I want to turn it this way because I think I'm going to do the image on the other side of it, and I don't want to have to clean it if I can help it. So I think first I'm going to go ahead and do, which one do we want to do on that one? Let's go ahead and do this softer. It's kind of a, um, I don't know kind of a French blue, a gray blue, gray medium blue. So let's go ahead and do this one first. And I'm using my Maniology Scraping Card, Maniology Stamping Polish today. So let me go ahead and get this. Uh, okay, where did I say it was? Right there. <laughs> Here we go. Let me see if I can move this back a little bit. I don't know if you'll be able to see it anyway, but I'll do the best I can with my setup here. Okay, so let's get it on there. And then I'm going to scrape it. And then roll. Okay, so I'm going to take, take it off of here and off of here. So I want to show you something first. So so see I got part of an image down here. So depending on how big your nails are um, or how long they are, if they're long, you know, if they're as big as this, as long as this, then it's not going to, you know, take all of it. It's going to only, it's not going to be enough for just this image. You'll have to either piece it um, unless you like it that way. Right now I'm going to take this bottom part off. I waited too long. Hopefully I'll still be able to get the image. Let me see. Okay, so I stamped it on, really pretty image. Carefully rolled it off, because I did wait a long time yakking. 
kind of like that. It's not really pretty. So see how it doesn't cover everything. So you could, you know, you could do something different down here if you wanted to, or do a line there, or a foil, you know, striping foil, <clears throat> striping tape, something like that if you wanted to. Um, and, or you can piece it, which I've, you know, shown how to do in some of my other tutorials. But we could go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that right now. So I think I'm going to have to clean this off though, just in case. So let me grab some acetone. This over here. And using my wooden clothes pin. Oop, got it on me. There we go. So that works fine on that, you know, as deeply etched as it is. But when I try just doing a little cotton pad, you know, then it's harder because you really got to hold on to it because it really grabs it. Okay, so anyway, let me see if I how to how I want to match this. So I think I'm going to go from the bottom half. So you just look at the pattern and, you know, and at your nail in the pattern and just, you know, get it wherever it is that you left off at, you know, and try and match it. You know, it don't worry about it that if it's not exactly because nobody's going to notice unless it bugs you but so that's how I got it that's how I took it so see this part right here this half it's right in the half of that V because that's where we left off over here so I'm going to go ahead and line this up the best I can so like that so Press it on and roll from side to side. And I think that's pretty dang good. <laughs> so definitely some images are easier than others, as I've said before. Get that fuzz off of there. But I think, yeah, I think that's really pretty. I don't think anybody's going to notice. So anyway, that's that one. Let's let that one dry. And then we're going to do, let's see, which one do we want to do? So I'm going to use this Maniology stamping polish, and this one is like a really deep coal cobalt blue, I would say. Um, it's got a lot of pigment in it. Uh, Midnight Madness, it's called. Um, and so let's get another sample nail. Same thing, white, marshmallow. And so I think we'll do one that's a little bit different on here, so I'll show you which one we're going to do. So I think we'll do this one here. Um, okay. All right. So maybe I'll turn it this direction then. I don't think it really matters on this image which way you turn it anyway. So this is a really nice deep blue. And, uh, oh, whoops. Swipe this off real quick. Get it off of there. Okay, get my scraper, let's scrape it, and roll, and I'm going to get off this bottom part. Okay, so this is how it, how it turned out, and we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to line it up here, and it's not going to cover all the way, this one's not going to cover all the way either. So there's that. Okay, so press, just roll from side to side. And there you go. And I you know once again, you could put striping tape if your nail's this big. Now, if your nail is an average size, you know, it this will cover it perfectly. But if it is like really wide or long like this one is, then you're gonna have to piece it or do something different with it. Um, so, now, oh, I probably should have showed you how I did that before. Oh, that's okay. I'll show you a sample that's like that. So, um, let me see if I want to piece that one or not. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I'll take it right below that, that center, that main image on here. Clean this off a little bit better. 
There we go. Okay. There we go. So I'm just taking that little bottom strip from the image, the bottom of the image, and I'm just going to carefully try and add it here so that it looks like it's supposed to be there. So right there. So I think that's pretty good. I don't think anybody would know the difference, you know, but if your nails, like I said, are average or, you know, not as wide and long as this, you won't have to do that anyway, but it's super easy. Most of them are pretty easy to do that with, but just gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Really pretty. So that was, so those are the two we did. And really pretty. And I love that blue and white look too. So there, I have some other ones. I'll show you what I swatched. So let me move this stuff out of the way. And I'll show you here. So let's see, where do we want to start? Oh my gosh. So because there was 30 of them, it's, it's not really going to look like there's a beginning or an end on this. So I'll do the best I can. I'll just have to show them to you. But um, that's a real pretty one. I thought that one was really pretty too. So let me see if I can do it this way. Does that show any better or is it better if it's maybe that way, huh? Okay. So we just did that one. That was the first one we did, except this isn't a dark blue. We did the medium blue on there. Um, I really like that one a lot too. And I really like that one too. Really pretty. I like most of them. I think that one's really gorgeous also. And on here, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I did a, that medium blue, you know, the lighter one, and then the dark one, I went down, right down the middle, one half was the light blue, the other half was the dark blue, and so it, and I, then I scraped and it gave it a, a vertical ombre look, which was really with it, pretty with this image. Um, it's, you know, better in person, but <laughs> anyway, so let's go this way. So there's only a couple in here I wasn't impressed with. This is one of them. Kind of looks like spiders to me. And I hate spiders, so that's just me. Um, but beautiful. Some beautiful images, though. And this one we, was the second one we did. And that one's nice. That one's really pretty. I really like that one, too. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and... I like that one. That one's beautiful too. I really like that one too. It kind of has a lacy look to it. Really like this one. Um, those are pretty. Uh, I like this. I think the only other one I wasn't impressed with is. Let me see. Let me make sure. Nope. No, I like this one. I do like this one. So it's like a negative image, you know, where the back is almost, the background is covering most of it, except for a little bit of peek through. So you do definitely want to either put white behind it or a hollow or something that's going to be, you know, give enough contrast. You can actually see, you know, your images, the cutouts. Um, but there is one on here. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, it's this one right here. I think it's that one. Let me see. Yes. I mean, it's pretty, but it's, besides the one that looks like spiders to me, this one is my second least favorite, just because there's so much, most of it's, you know, it's another negative image, and most of it's all that background, takes up almost all that background, so you hardly see anything through, and if you like that, you know, that's great, but you just have to, you know, know that, I mean, that's all that's showing through, and this is a white background, so, you know, just keep that in mind when you go to use that, but look how pretty that is, though. I really like that image a lot, too. Those are just gorgeous. There's some really pretty images on here, lots of them. Well, there's 30 of them, so, you know, so not bad. The only two that I wasn't crazy about, it, that leaves 28 still, so... Um, so I thought this was really cool. Kind of looks like a quilt or something, huh? Not pretty fancy, anyway. 
Okay, so that's that's those. And then I did a few more samples um, to show you. So let me see if this shows you, I hope. Let me see. Hope you can see them. I want you to be able to see the detail. Okay, how about that? Does that help at all? Okay, well anyway, you <laughs> hopefully you can see them good enough to get the idea. Um, so, what I was going to tell you, so obviously because these are still the same big nails, you know, I pieced the bottom part, you know, together to cover this whole thing, but really pretty. That's a, you know, kind of lacy one. Um, and then this one is the one that looks like hearts, and I did the ombre kind of look with. I don't know if you can see that difference, but I thought this one was really pretty too, and I love the blue and white look, and that's um, really pretty also. Really like that one too. So what I was going to tell you is on this one, what I did was, so since this nail is so big, and just in case yours would be really big like that, um, more than likely it'd be maybe your thumb if it's even that long, but if it is, um, what I did was when I picked up this image, you know, it picked up part of the bottom image. And so instead of, you know, using my scraper car to take this part off like I normally would, I went ahead and left it and then I just stamped the whole thing on. And I think it looks kind of cool. I'm kind of liking that look. So you can leave it like this, you know, um, has a kind of a patchwork look or whatever, but um, a border look. Or you could use striping tape, you know, and put a piece of striping tape across there. You know, if you could do gold or, you know, whatever, blue, or whatever colors you're using. Um, you could use, you know, little rhinestones or I mean, there's all kinds of things that you could do. You could, even if you wanted to just use a striping brush, um, you know, whatever. I mean, just let your creativity go. But I kind of like that look, though. That's kind of fun. So that's, it'd be easy to do with this on these images. Like I said, all you do is you pick up, you know, pick up the one image. Because it works like that most of the time anyway. So see? Like, so when I pick this whole image up, and when you scrape it, you know, I scrape it down, um, then I get part of that one down there anyway. So easy to do, you know, every time. Same thing here. So you could do that, you know, on any of them that you wanted to. So really cool. So this is Lena. Once again, Lena, uh, you're, you're a Damask O2. So like, you know, it's like Damask prints. Um, O2 anyway and then you can get this from at What's Up Nails uh, they carry Lena stamping plates um, or you can get it from Lena directly um, Lena Nail Art Supplies and I'll put all that information in the information box also so I think hopefully I didn't forget anything so once again here are our you know, here's sam our samples, and um, so please like and subscribe and click on the bell icon above so that you'll get a notice on my next tutorial, and I think my next one is a clear jelly stamper plate. So anyway, thanks so much. Bye, guys.